Leadership is critical in life. I mean, obviously, leadership is not about creating followers. It's about creating teamship, if there's such a word. And it's also about creating ownership. The ownership from a leader's point of view is not a million miles away from the ownership from a coach's point of view. Uh, Khalil Gibran, in his book, um, The Prophet, uh, he's, he's, this prophet's leaving a country and he's asked all sorts of questions about love, hate, death. Love. And one of the questions is about parents and children. And uh, he says, and I'm paraphrasing, the parent is to the bow as the child is to the arrow. When you're developing people, whether you're a leader or a coach, manager, parent or whatever, the, you give them direction and you give them power, but the idea is to let them go. You've got to let them have ownership. There are two difficult aspects to that. First of all, as, uh, and I realize this as a parent, uh, standing there saying goodbye to my daughter at the uh, going into university, and maybe it was a grain of sand or something that lodged itself in my eye, but I find myself really, uh, really choked. And I, th I was surprised at myself. I thought, why? What's wrong with you? You're a guy. You're not supposed to get upset at these things. And it was two questions that came into my mind at that point. Are you prepared to let her go? Have you given her the right tools, the right equipment, so that she is ready to be let go? But are you actually prepared to let her go yourself? And I think when you're developing, when you're leading and so on, You've got to understand that that's what you're supposed to be doing, taking your hands off. The question is, have you prepared them for that? And that's a, the coaching part of being a quality leader.